Hey there, um, I'm Eddie Redmayne, and I'm a Hufflepuff. Actually, no, I am a, I'm a proud Hufflepuff. For far too long now, Hufflepuffs have been victimized. They call us beige, so we're the nice guys. But do you know what? Do you know what I see in Hufflepuffs? I see loyalty. I see fierce friendship. So we are hardworking, we are compassionate, and at the end of the day, we're gonna do the right thing, and not because of the glory, not because of the glory, but for the greater good, because f it, we... Sorry, it's naughty to swear. Uh... All right. Elephant, elephant. Uh, uh, monkey. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just did that noise. Uh, uh, a pig. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, horse. A uh, unicorn. Hey, good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. Uh, good eye, mate. Uh, a kangaroo. Yes. How exciting is it to be part of such a huge saga? That's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. It's very exciting. This is moment. the new Scamander wand. Yeah. Eddie, you need to show me how to uh, hold it, but I will tell you, we gave it to Daniel Radcliffe recently right. to hold. He didn't like your wand. No! Oh. I play Porpentina Goldstein. Uh, most people call her Tina. I feel like her subplot in the movie is a little bit how Tina got her groove back yeah. because, you know. Fantastic piece and how <laughs> Tina got her groove back. <laughs> <laughs> Hufflepuff or Gryffindor? Say the right answer. There is only one right answer. In my heart, I'm Hufflepuff. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> the amazing thing about J.K. Rowling is she writes this script and it's so descriptive, but occasionally she's very economical with her words. <laughs> and in this particular one, it was like, so, you know, Dan's character and I was sort of running through the through Central Park Zoo and we stumble across this thing and then new performers mating dance and da-da-da-da-da. And it was one of those things where you're reading the script and you keep reading and then you sort of, Back up, wait a second, he performs what? Like, and, and like. Should we just show us for, no, don't. Sorry. <laughs> no, I tr tried teaching Jimmy Fallon the other night and it was, um, oh, it was humiliating for everyone involved. Oh. Okay, you have to give it 100%. There's no mini committing here. Okay. <laughs> so uh, just, and, and you know what ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JK Rowling wrote that he was really quite built. So they had me go to the gym, which Catherine witnessed occasionally for months and months on end. And then it got to doing the scene. He doesn't like to exercise, this man. I fucking hate it. And then uh, we got to the scene, and I think probably because I spent most of the scene going, oh, I'm going to get my wand! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to that <laughs> guy! I'm going to get this way like this! Um, obviously the scene was cut. Uh, <laughs> We had that, there was one moment, there's this animal called a swooping evil, which is this one that swing, that sort of flies around. And there's a scene where Catherine and I were both having to eye it and there was nothing in the air. So the two of us are doing this, we didn't it know if that was too much. Me, or whether so I we had should... to be going. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to be going. <laughs> but I didn't know whether to use my head or just to try to use my eyes. <laughs> it was a bit of a disaster. Yeah, I remember amazing. there was one moment, because I have a case in the other hand for most mm. of the film, there was a moment where I have to like look after this egg and I did this, and I was a sort of big, a sort of committee meeting about whether that was allowed. <laughs> like, are you allowed to put that Does that blow your, your face off? <laughs> <laughs> you just broke um, it. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. no, it was permitted. This is a colouring book. There is nothing weird, odd, or, or bizarre about it, other than it says the word magic on the front of it. <laughs> um, I mean, one of the most bizarre moments for me was there's a moment where I was on top of the Yokami, riding this huge kind of like dragon like creature and the reality was I was on this massive huge green tube suspended in the air on wires with two guys dressed in full green body suits oh like like make it, it was like a bucking bronco yeah, it's like a magical version of those bars where you ride the bucking exactly bronco. <laughs> and I was having to scream about teapots and insects and I sort of had a timeout moment going what, what is the that? hell do I do for a living? So, uh, there is actually nothing in the colouring book I'm showing you. Do you see? There is yes, nothing, 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 nothing in okay. it. Brian. Yes. Will you blow on the colouring book? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> chicken! Yep, 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 yep. Go. Uh, two. Uh, two syllables? Yes. Or First two? one, um. Uh, meow! <laughs> Cat? Yeah. A second one, 
Finding Dory. Uh, catfish. Yes. Oh. Uh. A penguin. <laughs> no, harder than that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's see what that's done, shall we? Oh! oh! oh wow! So, uh, in Norway, people have been, like, sleeping outside the theatres for, like, I think a week... No. ...to get tickets for this movie. For Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got... Now we have pictures. Ben, we have pictures. We have pictures. I can see the pictures. Um, will you blow on it? <laughs> oh, yeah, Give me your full smog. I will blow hard. Okay, go, go. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Was it hard enough? <laughs> I should do panto. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, uh, yep. you take your leg, right leg, yep. really high, and yep. you're looking at the one you're trying to seduce. Yeah. <laughs> you come over and you slam that down. Yeah, good. No, it wasn't hard oh. enough. Oh. But I'm a wizard. <laughs> and I think... Oh! Good. <laughs> I've been sitting there awkwardly for the whole show. This is the seduction part. So with the oh, side, wasn't it, uh, with the side of your foot, mm. you just pull that back. You're pulling her in. <laughs> yes. Will okay. you give us a spell then? As a kajam. Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. It's actually, better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, from here, you're, show, you're, showing off your, you're showing off your best side. So you turn that around. Oh. That was meant to be a seal. That was a seal? Yeah. Oh. And I have this old battered suitcase that I use in life generally. And I arrived with the case and I sat down and he started telling me this story because the script hadn't been finished yet. And he just started, like, and it was sitting by the fire being told this story about Newt and Tina and the crew. And um, it was completely intoxicating. And then he started talking about the case. And I sort of looked down and realised that I'd bought this case with me and it probably looked like I was one of those actors who, like, turned up <laughs> dressed as the character for the audition. <laughs> so I sort of gently started putting the case <laughs> right, right. I have no idea what to do with this. It's not your wand, that's yeah. why. I mean, there's only one man who knows how to use that thing. How in I mean, the... He... It's so hard. It's so <laughs> inappropriate when you talk about <laughs> wand. <laughs> My wand work is epic. You really need to know. <laughs> oh, you see, yeah. Is it's it got a good weight. Yeah. Have you ever... Hold... <laughs> <laughs> It's a perfect size. Thank you. <laughs> Mine's bigger, but I don't entire, know if that really... Entire, <laughs> what?